A. I'm Jan with Painting with Jan on Shumpert's Hill. Today I'm working with a um, 16 by 20. It's stretched, primed, and ready to go. So let's get painting. So the paints today we'll be using are golden yellow, blue, black, natural gray, rust, brown, blue gray, purple red, which is pink, warm gray, and white. Our brushes is a one inch bristle brush, a half inch bristle brush, a number three round, and a 20 over zero liner. Our painting today is gonna to be called Little Nelly. Okay, so I have a pencil and just a regular paintbrush. It doesn't matter what kind of paintbrush. So I came over about three inches from the bottom and dried me a little marker. And I used my paintbrush to mark it over here. And so, and then I marked it in the middle. So I'm about three inches. And it doesn't have to be straight because it's just a board. So I'm just gonna kinda um, sketch it out. And see, it's crooked. The cow's new up now on board, you know that. All right, from here, I'm coming over about three inches. And so I've just marked another little spot. So I'm just gonna pull this down. So that's part of our fence. <clears throat> now, I'm going to come down. Um, let's see, I'm trying to figure out. That's probably about five inches. And I'm just going to make me a little line, kind of going up. And then I'm going to come over from probably about, let's see, about the center and put another little line. And so I'm just going to draw this in right here. And if it doesn't come down perfect, that's okay. That's going to be good. Okay. So that's um, the beginning of the line. And then I'm going to come over from where I'm at here, about three inches and about three inches here. And I'm just gonna try to bring this down to this point. There we go. For this part, what I did, because I'm gonna have to excuse my, I've been erasing, but I had to draw it off camera so I could show you. So I've got a saucer and I got a little bowl. I'm gonna place this on top of where that board was and then I just draw a circle around it. And that's all you gotta do is just draw you a circle. Then, then I came along with this little one and I just overlapped it a little bit and I drawed a circle around it. We now have a big circle and we have a part of a little circle. I didn't go all the way in because I really didn't need to overlap it. But if it would help you from being confused, there it is. It's just overlapped a little bit. And then I just came where the circles meet. I came over about an inch just put your little line. And then I came at an angle down. Here's where they meet again, another inch. And then I just curved it. From here, from where this these circles meet, I came up probably about two inches, just a little dot. And then I came over about an inch and then I curved this one down. So that's attaching their face. Um, so at this point, um, I came over from where the head and the board meets. I came over about three inches to the little line. And then I'm down probably about an inch and a half. So from here, I'm just about three inches all the way. I just went up with my ear and just went off the canvas. <clears throat> I come back to this little point. I came over about a half an inch. Then I came down. And from here to here, if you want a marker, is about two and a half inches. So I'm about an inch from here and about three, three inches, two and a half inches from there. And so I just bring this point, come around curve and meet my dot again. From where this board was and the head met, I came down about an inch, give myself a little circle, and then I'm down about 
two inches, two and a quarter inches, and came back down and put another little dot. I just came up a little bit, started curving it, and came into the board. Because here's our board. I had done erased it, but there's our board. And it just came down. And I'm about, my point of his ear is about a half an inch. If you're coming down from this corner to here is probably an inch and a half from here. I just came over a half an inch. And then from this one to this one, you just give it a little curve and fill in his ear. And that's our cow. I, I came in and just, it doesn't look like it, but I did erase this line as best as I, best as I could with my eraser. And this one as well is trying not to be quite so confusing. Um, at this point, we're gonna grab some paint and start putting it on the canvas. Okay, I've got uh, brown on my palette, which is a uh, raw umber, but I call it brown. And I have a one inch bristle brush. And I'm gonna come in here. I'm gonna go around the head because I'm not exactly sure what color I wanna do the um, cow yet. But I just wanna do some filling in. And so I'm just coming in here with some dark brown. And I'm just smoothing that out. Make sure I got all the little spots. If I don't have all the little spots filled in, that's okay because I'm going to be coming back with more. And I'm just going to go ahead and paint my side. Now, with this, I'm having to do it um, up and down. I'm just coming and filling that line, but I'm coming up with the paint because I want my board to look like it's coming, you know, it's standing up. This time I'm going to go sideways so the board looks like it's coming this way. mind my board not being straight because you know what animals eat on boards <laughs> oh, horses and cows There's something in there they like I reckon okay I have a number um tin bristle brush I still have brown I've got rust which is burnt sienna. Um, this is a warm gray, but it looks like a beige, and then I have a white. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in here and give these boards a little texture to make them look like boards. So I'm just gonna pick up a little brown, a little, all three. I've got uh, the rust, I've got the tan, and I've got the white. And I'm just gonna come in here and just start looking some of that on. I want to pick up just um, rust, I can go in there with that. I want to pick up some white, I can go in there with that. It just gives you all kinds of colors. We have the black underneath, I mean the dark brown underneath, for the purpose of giving us a solid color. And so it's just, I got some brown in here, I'm just gonna make that look like we're trying to that's where it needs. We're gonna come back and do something with that. But right now, that's where it needs. I think I got a little too much white on my brush. But that's okay, we'll blend it in with something else. I'm just picking up these colors, these three colors. There's some beige. Here's some burnt sienna. Or the rust color. You decide you want your board more than um, a different color, then you can paint it that, a different color. But that's got a little more rust and brown uh, white in it. But I'm going at this angle because that's the way the board, the wood grain would go. I'm gonna come over here and then we'll come back and look at that one in a little bit. I still have just those three colors on my brush. And so I'm just coming in here and just 
putting a little paint on. I've got a lot of paint on my brush, so you see that? Just easy way to wipe it off. You want it to look weathered, you just put these different colors in there. And if we think that we've got too much of something, it's nothing just to pick up a little brown, come back in there and put a little black in there. Because that brown and white's gonna look, um, get that black color. You can also put some black in there if you want to. I'm just gonna come right here so I kinda know where I'm at. But I know I've got to go up from here. I'm just bringing some of this over on the side just to make it look like there's my wood. And when my brush gets too much, I just wipe it off on the canvas. And I'm just coming down that side there, you see how that, that was coming, this board was coming over on it so you couldn't really tell. But now, since I brought that down, you can, so. Just gonna put a little more white in here, I think. I want a little more white. And I might put a little more white in there, just to streak it a little bit. All right, I'm gonna come right in here where this looks a little dark to me. And just lighten it up a little bit and we'll bring a little white in here on the subject. The um, rust and the white makes about the same color as that brown um, um, light gray. Okay, I'm killing the color here, so I'm gonna bring some more of this in. Now I'm coming down here and work with this. Pick up some white. Some rust. And just letting them blend. Then I got some of that um, warm gray. Picked up white that time with the colors on my brush. You see what it's doing. I'm gonna pick up a little bit of the um, rust and just go in here. I think I'm gonna grab a little bit of brown too. Just more rust on my brush. I'm just putting color down, y'all, to get me some boards colors, wood colors. You can always put, um, you can mix um, white and black in here if you wanted to have some more gray in it. And I may come back. I may lighten it up a little bit. I don't know. We'll have to see. I think I do want it a little lighter, so I may come in here with some of this and the white. Let's see what we get. You don't want to kill all in one color. That's where I'm trying not to do. Whoa, that lost my brush. I'm gonna come in here with some white. Whoops, I didn't want to do that. That's okay, and I like that. Bring in some more white in here. Bring in some more white down here. Got a little rust in there with that. I'm gonna grab some of that warm gray and some of that white together. And just put some right under here. And I'm gonna bring a little rust in there. Get a little more. All right, I wanna let that dry. 